Tech Tutorials here back with another video and in this video I'll be showing you how to make your own Twitter template uh, background for your Twitter in Photoshop. So what you want to do is, well you have to have Photoshop and you have to have a little bit of creativity. So as you can see this is a bit um, the template that I made. Now Twitter already gives you some pre-made themes which is very simple and which is very vague. But at the same time, you could also upload your custom background, custom template for your own Twitter. So having that, you can, you know, use your creativity to make your own. Although mine is not so nice. I just need information on my background. That's all I need. And you guys, if you guys want to put some creativity in it, then do it after watching this video. So uh, what you want to do is open up Photoshop. Now in Photoshop, I've already made up this file for you guys, a pre-made file, so that I help you out for making it more better. Now this file is called Twitter Background Template, and you'll it will be in the description below. Make sure to delete this before saving for sure. And uh, I'll be having these like this. Second. Uh, right. So I'll be having like those like that. And you could also like just put the text on where I highlighted at the moment. As you can see the highlighters. And put the text or the icons or however you want to put it. Make sure to put it. And another question, another thing that I want to come up on. Is the background the background is very simple <clears throat> it's very simple to change it's very easy all I gotta do is click on layer one you can delete it uh, delete it uh, and then after that you have you could uh, make your own gradient as the background it's very simple it's very easy I'm just gonna go back to my original layer so yeah it's very simple now what you want to do is add text on the side that's in this video's purposes I will be adding text on the side so I'll write for example follow me and I just put that black I guess right black follow me over here and I'll just get my stuff done I'll be coming back as soon as I'm done all right then so I'm done editing up my template all I did was add in some pictures from the follow me I added the Twitter icon and I've also added the Facebook account icon and I've also added my logo which you can see right up there and another text called add me as you can see it's very simple all I did is just you know to make this really quickly I just <clears throat> did whatever came out in my head and now I love using icons it just explains more so I'll just get to it how to save this file and how to put this on Twitter so make sure right before you upload it you have to delete the capture before saving and delete me. So you have to right click on capture and just click on delete layer. My bad. Delete layer. And it deletes the capture layer. Now you want to delete the before saving layer. That. Right. And you delete the delete me layer. Right. So uh, this is exactly how it should be at the end. All those layers in the middle, it's gone where it's highlighted at the moment. And what you want to do is click on file, save as, and make sure you save as, uh, save it on the desk desktop, wherever you want to save it, and make sure you save as JPEG so you could have your full resolution also saved. Uh, now you want to open up Twitter and get to your Twitter page. Once you're in Twitter, all you got to do is go on settings, uh, the the gear icon over there, settings. Then you want to go to design. You have your menus to pick out which where you want to customly upload your background. So all you have to do is click on change background, choose ex existing image. Uh, what I uploaded was on the desktop. Scroll down and it was the Twitter background template. Just click on that, click on save changes and you'll have that background on the sides of your Twitter. So I'm just going to go to me and show you that. Alright, so as you can see, it has been done. It is completely on the side. It's it is not interfering with the inside of the Twitter, the middle part of it, and it's complete. It looks completely nice on the sides where I, I highlight at the moment. On the sides, it's a bit further off, just because my resolution is really wide. My resolution of my computer is 1920 by 1080, but this should be right size for you. As you can see, my logo's up there. Add me. My text is right there. Follow me. My icons are right there, and it looks properly. It looks very nice and beautiful. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Bye-bye.